Welcome back everyone. Well, yesterday we went ahead and talked about what to do when your iPhone gives you a little message like this. Well, the same exact thing is said for an iPad as well. So if you have an iPad and you think you have a virus on it, well, I can probably rest assure you that you probably do not have a virus even if you get a pop-up like this. Even if you're when you constantly open up your specific browser, Safari, Chrome, you keep getting this message even though you exit out of it, all that stuff. I can tell you, you probably don't have a virus. You probably just have some type of, you know, just ad tracker or some type of website thing that these coders made that keeps making you have this type of pop-up. So in order to fix this, all you have to do is hop into your settings. You want to scroll down in your settings until you see your little Safari toggle right here. And then what you want to do is scroll down on the side until you see clear history and website data. You want to go and click, you know, click that. Now it's going to delete all the passwords and everything you logged in. It's not going to delete your passwords as long as you save them into your iCloud keychain and all that stuff. But it is going to temporarily, you know, log you out of all that stuff until you log back in. So doing that is going to essentially delete the little protocol that they made that will keep popping up that website. So that's essentially how to fix that little portion. So if you think you have a you know a little virus on your iPad, that is how you would go ahead and fix that little pop-up. Now there's a completely different situation if for some reason your iPad, you know, let's say you don't even have that pop-up or whatever, that, that's probably like 99% of you. But if you truly do think that you have a virus on your iPad, the only thing you can do if you really think so is to actually, you know, fully back up your iPad and, you know, delete everything off of it. You have to do a factory reset. That is the only way to go ahead and actually, you know, delete your specific or, you know, remove the virus from your iPhone or your iPad. That's really the only thing you can do. So what does this look like? Well, you would essentially go ahead and plug in your iPad to your computer, your Windows, whatever, and you would go ahead and do a full backup of your specific machine. After that, you would go ahead and come back to your iPad after backing up everything. Again, you have to back up everything from your iPad. You would then go back into your settings app. You would go into general. Once you click on the general setting on the side, you would then go and click on reset, which is right here. And you want to click on erase all content and settings, which is the second option up there. But again, you only want to do that after you fully back up everything. If you delete it here, then everything's going to be deleted. You want to back up everything and then you want to manually start bringing in data back. You know, that's the only way to do it if you really do think that you have a specific, you know, hardware virus. So that's the way to remove a virus and to actually make sure that you even have a virus in the first place on your iPad. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.